I'm telling you. Come back here and show me your tricks. Come on, Fred. Freddy. Hey. There's Eric there. Fishing's supposed to be a sport. Look, they're making a mockery of our sport, aren't they? Mm. Eric. Now he's heads down. So I should be able to cast <laughs> over him without spooking him. I want to get right away from him and wind in. That's perfect where he is. Perfect, perfect. Just come up real slow. See that? Go, ooh. See? See? And I've got a sneaking suspicion from the answers that I get, and I've not made it official, but Penrith are doing it. They're pumping yep. it down. I mean, every sewage works in the UK circulates that poo. Yes. And they dry it out, they do it and sell it as a compost. Mate, we, we call it's it fish. perfectly organic. There's nothing in yep. there. We call it fishing the poo tide now. Yeah. We go up these creeks, they let the, the treatment, yeah. there's, it's, 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 don't start me, I'm going to go and catch a fish. One of the problems in this place is it was built for rowers. That's yeah. why, why it's a problem, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. I don't like it, you don't like it, but if you don't like it, don't come. No, no, we want, that's, that's this is the bit I got. I figure you got this, you take advantage of it, and oh, if they is, open up Prospect and well, other places. I, I'm 82, so it's not going to be that long before I have to pack up, and I don't know who's going to take over, because if they don't get the... Um, someone to supervise the public fishing, they'll have to close down. I'm hoping it was going to have a little shower this afternoon. It'd go crazy if it had that little bit of a sprinkle, but it's, it looks like more like it's going to clear up instead. Huh. Well, that didn't take long at all. Can't get out of that weed. That's a good fish. You can see the fish moving, all the moving in the weed then, Grace. And I... Look at that. <laughs> He's not that big at all. He just fought like a demon. Oh, look at the mate with him. See that? Hey, Grace, where's, your, where's the rod? Hold this. He had a mate. Yeah, let him out a bit. Now, just leave him there for a sec. <laughs> His mate was bigger than him. Bring it back up. I'll take him off. Bring it the fishy. He's all right. His mate was bigger, though. <sighs> well, that was fun. What's that, mate? Yeah, you get that, wait till summer comes. There he is. Now his mate was bigger, I'm going to try and get him. That way, that way, that way. I'm loving hearing that cicada, there'll be a surface bite here later. But all those bass are stacked up. Oh. It's a school in there. That's their hunting. Where did they go? Ah, oh, yeah, I can see a bit of movement across there. Oh, 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 Grace. There he is. Oops. Oh, no. He's a nice one. I want that one. Yep, you're going down, buddy. Why didn't he take? Why didn't he take that? Yeah. Well, the bass are so hungry. I don't know whether to go them or go that hungry carp. He didn't want the curl tail, but he wants something. Hey. <laughs> He's sat in bindies, that's not smart. Don't want to waste my batteries because I know there's a hot bite here. Bass are in the schools. I already got follows. You get one, you get another one to follow. So. Oh, 
tucked in swim. So, so don't hesitate to get it out in the water and splash around a little bit when you've just caught a nice bass because school will come back to investigate. Otherwise they move on and it's like which way did they go? Did they go that way or did they go this way? One more out here and we'll keep moving. Water's so clear as you can see that you really got to work off a reaction bite and just seemed like a little rise and see how fast I'm winding. Like I'm not giving them time to think. And then when it hits that weed, it's all over. You move on. This is fun. And straight away, I was under the bass. And I saw a big carp. I missed him like two, three times. So I left Gracie with him. And I just, oh, another nice fish. I've just been just casting out over the weed line, not out real far, and just ripping this back real quick. Look at the stuff coming off my rod. They're right in that pus, but uh, it's like burning that stuff. Look, you can't even see the lure. Burning, burning that little jackal through the weeds, what triggers the bite. There he is. There's a, there's a lure there. Come on, Get me, buddy. They're aggressive. Right. Now, these are. These are. Stocked impoundment bass in the middle of Sydney, here for everyone to share. See you, buddy. Look at that, and talk about giving away spots. That fish, you can come down here tomorrow and catch him. They leave this to on a weekly basis, so. Oh, look at this. Yuck. So these fish do get time to have a break, they don't get hammered all the time, only one day a week. And even then, today, there's only half a dozen boys down here fishing. That's a school holiday, so. Oh, we got ourselves a mess. I love that noise. Dong noise. Flip flops. Jandles. Let's go along the edge of that weed. That was funny. That's why I'm wearing the thongs, because I come down here one day without them. Just whatever bottles, just put it in my bag. I just, I just seen a silver flash out of it. Just there. Definitely a bass. Yeah, and I've got, I need one, I haven't got any hookups. Every time I turn the camera off, I get a fish. But yeah, I was walking along the weed beds and you can just see them, see it all boiling up, all the bait fish boil up. Nice. Little jackal every time, slam. Well, I got three, but they're all in that weed bed up there and then so the last half an hour, I'd never had a look. Like I thought they'd gone out wide. I'd seen all those pelicans and that out yeah. wide. So I thought, oh, you might be onto them here. Yeah, I've got a couple of bumps, but that's it. Yeah? yeah? Off here or further back? Off here, way out. That's, that's Well, that's what I thought, because they, they were feeding, they were, you could see, you could actually sit there and just wait, and you could see where they were coming up. Well. This reel I got on here is like a 15-year-old Stella. A what? 15-year-old Stella. But, oh, the reel. Yeah. It's the only reel I've never been able to kill. But I had three Stellas, right? One, I put a dirty big blade on, caught this massive flathead, started the boat with the blade in the water, kicked the Stella and the Lermus off in 30 foot of water, lost. The other I tried to do a service myself with, so it's in a bucket, because I never got to put that back together. And this one, I sent it, I, I ran into Chris Cleaver at a brim comp. And I passed it in to get a service, and then I didn't see him for a long time. Like about three, four months later, at another comp, it was like, "Oh, what's going on with my reel?" And he's, "Oh shit, sorry." And he pulls out this box, and here's the Stella. Someone in the factory ran over it with a forklift, squashed everything but the the uh, spool, and they completely rebuild it. Here it is, going. Look, still, I just got it serviced again. It's beautiful. So I'm going to do this video tonight. Might be how to destroy a Stella. And I'm going to get that one that's in the bucket, and I'm going to get a sledgehammer, and I'm going to smash it. Yep. Never, never try and fix a reel again in my life. G'day, mate. How are you? You back again? Yeah. Have you caught a bass yet? In here, yes. Not wild one. Well done. <laughs>
Congratulations. But this, like I said to him, the first bass I caught, it hit hard like boom. Yeah. Second one, boom. But then last week I caught two. This week I caught two more here. Yeah. Somewhere here. Tap tap tap. It's like that doesn't sound like a bass. No, nah, mate. Bass slice. They dice. They go backwards. They go forwards. They feed okay. upwards. They feed downwards. I've got to hit the road right off. Me too. All right, guys. Good luck. Hi,